at the end of today, I am going to be Mrs. Alexander Christina Fernandez. Hello, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno. As love is all around as we attend the gala premiere of The Knot. At the end of the day, he's going to be Mr. Giddings. What if he turns into his dad? It's going to be the perfect day. Probably about ten years ago, um, myself, Noel and Jeff got together, wrote the script and... Uh, and we kind of been pitching it ever since, so we kind of got lucky, I think, uh, when people realised there was uh, a market for it again. So, you know, yeah, it's been a long process. And how did your collaboration work together with regards to the writing? Um, I, I just, it, it was just a well-oiled machine, I think. It was, uh, yeah, we, we'd worked on quite a lot of scripts together uh, when we were younger, and uh, we, we kind of, we just have a, a, a way to work with each other. We trust each other, and, um, you know, we talked everything out. We knew the characters, loved them, and, uh, and yeah. I mean, I think originally we actually wanted to do it for no money, so that was how the concept originally came up. You know, friends filming, uh, friends filming each other with video cameras. That's the, you know, which apparently people threw a bit more money and, you know. And, and Bob's your uncle. Yeah, absolutely. And um, yeah, because you said you started it ten years ago, the concept of the story. I mean, your lives must have evolved so much in that yeah. time. So how did that affect how the, the story developed? Um, I know I'm, I was no longer the lead. <laughs> um, Noel was always the best man, so that was great. Um, and that's, so I, I kind of just went down the order as, as, as it went on because my career never went so fast. So uh, that, yeah, that was, a, that was a progression, a regression, I should say. So <laughs> yeah, um, but it was great. I don't think I would have been confident enough uh, and, um, and I think I've done it as much justice as Matthew did it. So uh, when we cast him, it was just, I was over the moon. So I tried to get someone that looked a little bit like me, but better looking. So we went, we went with Matthew. <laughs> I think that it's doing something a little bit different, taking British humour and, and maybe adding something a little more American to it. So it's more edgy, it's more silly and kind of gross out humour, but also very respectable at the same time. <laughs> and is, there, is there a particular journey that your character goes on? She, interestingly, you know, I, I think the way it was written was that for my character and my boyfriend, they don't necessarily change in the sense that they're quite cynical and there's another side to them, but they sort of just reaffirm their relationship. Was it interesting that the, 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 the screenplay has kind of explored the different sort of facets of love and what that means to people? Yeah, I mean, you're looking at so many different types of people and relationships, and it's just basically the entire spectrum of love, basically. <laughs> when I play, a, I play a character called Rafus, who is, um, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's a bit simple, I think is the way I've described him. He has a habit of making a lot of mistakes regularly, which causes problems for the sort of the groom. Um, but yeah, this one was a, was, a, was a good one, actually. I sort of, um, yeah, but it was a bit simple, so... You know, I put, put on a little bit of weight. Um, I'd like to have done more, I would have really gone for it, but you know what these films are like, you get the call, you've got like six weeks to sort of get going, but put a little bit of weight. As I say, he's, you know, he's very different to some of the stuff that I've, I've done before. Normally I'm playing the sort of, you know, I mean, we've done a, I've done a Broadway stuff, but this is very different, and I'm just really, really excited to be a part of this film. I think it's, um, in general for me, this is a different film. I've never done a romantic comedy before, and I think this one is, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's really, really funny, so. You're touching on the romantic comedy and also that you're, 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 you probably say and act in ways that you shouldn't. That must, for you, add a lot of comedy to, to the film. And, and how is that for you to perform? It, look, this, this shoot was so much fun. Uh, uh, doing a doing a comedy is always is always a laugh, but this one we just had so much jokes and there's so many brilliant performances in the film. And just trying to keep a straight face on set was was it was a nightmare. Um, Brett Goldstein is is hilarious in this in this film, and he plays we play brothers, uh, and he just had me in stitches all day long. Yeah, no. Uh, what attracted me, I said yes. They offered me a job. I'd take a job. I was excited. And, and uh, you're working with a big ensemble piece. Yeah. So what was that like for you, and what did you get from that oh, creatively? You know that was that was brilliant, and actually, it was like because the whole film is a wedding. And so it was like having a six week wedding or however long we were shooting, we just hung out and had a, I worry we had too much fun. I don't know how much fun it is to watch, but it was a lot of fun to do. It's like being at a wedding reception. <laughs> if you like weddings, if you and hate if you weddings, don't. you would have hated it. It would have been an awful six weeks, but like, I happen to like weddings. <laughs> well, that was, that was a good thing. Yeah. And you'd have liked it because you wanted a job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> a job um, and a wedding. It was a dream. It was a bloody dream. And with regards to the, the, your character's development, what, what, what did that go on? Uh, I went on the facial hair because I decided that I should have uh, a certain kind of facial hair and I think that that made it uh, because 
he was a guy who loves wrestling and I thought maybe he should look like someone who's obsessed with wrestling to the extent that he'd make himself look like a prick and uh, so that was I think that was the, once I got the facial hair the rest fell into place I have good news and bad news You're directing a film that's been written um, by the, the actors uh -huh. and produced uh -huh. by the actors. So what was that whole experience like for you? Bearing in mind, Noel's behind, so be careful what you say. <laughs> I felt very nurtured. <laughs> no, it was, it, was, um, it was interesting because um, obviously Noel was also acting in it as well. And um, the way that the shoot was organised, uh, the first half of the shoot was all the guys, all the grooms. Second half was all the uh, bridesmaids. So when he was acting, uh, he was very much in that zone, you know. But um, when we were doing the girls, he had a lot of time on his hands. So uh, basically, you know, he was kind of, it was great, you know, to have the extra pair of eyes. He was, and his eyes were very, he doesn't miss the thing, Noel. And he was there, glued to the monitor. And um, on top of that, he's the writer. So he's got, I mean, writers at the best of times are very precious about their work. But uh, he was very involved in, in, all, in all areas. But, you know, it was a good, intense experience, and I really enjoyed it. And I'm ready for my next one. <laughs> Even if it's in the jungles of Indonesia, I can handle it after this. So, yeah, but a good time. You well. were in the urban jungle this time, though. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. And there's a, a great aesthetic with the film, isn't it? It looks very polished, very Hollywoody. Can you tell us a little bit more about how you got that look, really? Well, uh, yeah, I guess, like, um, in, in kind of preparation for this film, I watched every single romantic comedy under the sun. A lot of them were American uh, ones. And uh, what I noticed was um, they all kind of took place in these kind of spacious kind of suburban homes uh, where kind of material, um, you know, issues were not an issue. And so I just went for that really. I wanted it to be as glossy as possible. I wanted it to look a bit like Los Angeles. And uh, I worked very closely with my cinematographer, Trevor Forrest, in achieving that look. So we used gold filters and uh, short wide angle lenses. And um, it was very important that, that it looked glossy and comfortable. I mean, the film's really about, um, you know, really about connections, you know. Um, so many people, so many people get married, so many people don't get married, they just, they're just in love. And the film is really just about different people connecting in different ways. You know, and that was important to, to put across. And you started, the, the, the fruition of the film was 10 years ago, so how you've evolved and matured as a person, did that um, change the evolution of the script? Oh yeah, the script's changed many, many times. It's changed many, many times since we wrote it, and uh, it's kind of gone from being just completely laddie humour to actually mature humour, maturer, you know, and, uh, and turning into something that's really really a sweet sweet film you know and uh, I think that's testament to you know when we wrote it we were all single and stuff like that and now you know I, you know I'm married or well, the other writers about to have a baby the other writers not doing any of that but he's older you know so we've all matured into different people got a screenplay written by three men yes. so how well was the female interpretation of love how well was that written I think it was written really well actually funny enough um, yeah, no, I think they portrayed it from quite a... I don't know whether they got any help from any other women interpretations, but no, it was good. It was all right. And then we had, our, obviously, our own twist on it when you go through it. And, and, what, um, the, and the part that you're playing, what attracted you to the part that made you want to play her? She's totally nuts. And it's really good fun. Um, really fun cameo role. I get to... I don't want to spoil it too much, but I get to do things that I haven't done before in other other um, parts and be quite outrageous and yeah, it was a laugh actually. Wonderful for you as an actress. Really wonderful, yeah, kind of quite stretching um, and yeah, fun. And working with with the actors that have also written the, the screenplay, was that a help or a, or a hindrance to you? No, really good, really good. And especially having Noel and Davey there on set, Jason, all the time, they were kind of, they, you were, if you had any queries or questions, you can just go up. And they're so easy to talk to, so there was never any, you know, moments of doubt or anything. We see you here in another great British independent film. Tell us more about that. Well, it's a, a rom-com, so it's a nice, a nice little romantic comedy. Uh, lots of lots of different characters in it. Lots of different storylines going on. But um, I've got a little funny bit, and I end up having a bit of a kiss. I wonder if it made it in. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm wondering if the kiss is still in. <laughs> but yeah, no, nice, light-hearted uh, British comedy, and and uh, really glad to be a part of it. So yeah, looking forward to watching. Can you can you tell us a little bit more? About 
about the, the part that you're playing and what you actually wanted to bring to her? Um, well, I've just got a little cameo. I'm one of the, uh, the, the wedding guests. So it's me and Louisa Litton are playing uh, friends. So watch out for us in our matching dresses. <laughs> oh, that's always a woman's worst yeah, night. Yeah, but... <laughs> If anyone knows any reason why these two people should not be married. Is it hard when you're doing sort of takes on set and something particularly funny happens and you have to, you know, kind of be, you're human, if it's funny, it's funny and you're going to laugh, but you're also working on, on a budget. Well, I know, I think that um, sometimes it actually helps, like, because um, there's, there's moments that you just do naturally as a human being and actually it makes the take better so yeah it's more spontaneous and then they they hopefully keep that in like and you just keep rolling and rolling the whole, the whole thing is not to break out of character and look at the camera and go oops I'm sorry <laughs> talking about character can you tell us about the part that you're playing and what you wanted to bring to her um, Anisha um, is one of the bridesmaids um, she's a cheeky bridesmaid um, actually she's Totally wild, totally crazy, totally carefree, and um, totally different to me <laughs> as a real person. So what I wanted to bring to the character was I actually just wanted to uh, make her just fun. So I just thought it, on paper she was actually quite difficult to relate to. So um, I thought, oh my gosh, I don't know how to do this. But um, she, I just wanted to make her a fun person that anyone could relate to and be one of those girls that you could say, oh, everyone's got one of those girls in their group of friends, so, yeah, you know, the crazy wild one. You're playing a, a very uh, theatrical hairdresser. Yeah, slightly camp. I know a lot of people say it's a huge departure for me, uh, again, to play someone very camp, uh, make my mother very proud. What was it about the, the, the character that you wanted to play and, 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 and attach yourself to? It was to? just lovely having, uh, because I was actually I was in uh, the theatre at the time doing a play, so I didn't have much time to do anything. So it's really nice when you can do a cameo that you can just, that they just say, just go with it, go as mad as you want. So I was like, well, that's perfect. So, um, and the fact that it was slightly German as well, which I do alarmingly easily. So, yeah. And, and with regards to the whole script, what was it about you, about the, the, the screenplay that, that enchanted well, you, know, you really? Well, you know, it's just lovely that, that it was a, it's a low budget film and there's always a really great feeling of community and camaraderie in, in lower budget stuff. So it's wonderful that people just get involved. Your playing on goes on sort of quite an emotional journey because she's kind of really at the at a crossroads with regards to what love is to her yeah. at that time. And she's seeing it from quite a different perspective to the other women in that she's already been married and her relationship hasn't quite worked out as you get, and that really comes to fruition in the film um, so she's sort of maybe slight add slightly a pessimistic viewpoint on it but also a realistic one but she's incredibly close to the bride so she her main aim is to be there to support the bride but she doesn't always manage it interesting for you as an actress having to play the part where you know you're internally you're probably not feeling that great about romance but you're having to be happy because you want to be supportive for your friends and having that dichotomy of um, different emotions really yeah absolutely and it's very much about picking when you're going to show that and 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 for making the audience feel sympathetic with your character and not just you know being the wet blanket of the day so I hope she's a lovable character as well as having slightly some of the sadder moments as well. So you, you, you provide a lot of comedy as well? I do, mainly with my bottom. Um, I, uh, I, I have a, a bit of an accident in the back of the Hummer limo on the way to the wedding, which uh, involves a little diversion to hospital um, and a rather sort of unflattering scene, I believe, we'll see it tonight, um, of me being having glass picked out of various bits. Yeah, not something you'd want to happen, I don't think. And it's obviously very much a, a chick flick, but is there, is there something as well for the men? Is it important to yeah. say? Yeah, definitely something for the guys. We've got a hugely strong comic team of lads who provide the stag element, and they all work really well together as a team. I mean, you never know if that's going to really happen, but the alchemy there was brilliant. So some of the funniest moments are, is a real lad humour. So, boys, come watch it. Don't see any of us getting married, see? We're real men. Mm.